All right, guys, this is Shelton Films on the Explore, Explorer Forum, and I'm going to show you guys how to turn on the DRL function of your Explorer. This is for model years 2011 to 2015, and may apply to 2016 and up as well. Um, I got Forescan opened up here. I have an OBD2 adapter Bluetooth. Um, you see a little switch on it. That's so I can switch between high speed can and medium speed can. Uh, the one I'm using. I think there's an updated version but it's BAFX products um, you just type in BAFX products on Amazon it's like 22 bucks and get yourself a double pole double throw switch if you search the four scan forms it'll show you how to add this and that way you can get to more control modules besides just the one on the HS can anyway um, plugging it in right now on the OBD2 port if you don't know where it's at, it's underneath the dash, right underneath the steering column. If I can find it. Oh, where's it? There it is. Alright, I got that plugged in. Sorry if you hear me sneezing, it's allergy season. Alright, got this going. Um, you may have to go in here and configure. You go to the gear, go to connection. I got it selected for Bluetooth. Um, this has already been paired before on my computer. And there's a button here. It should automatically connect when you open up Forescan. So go ahead and plug it in before you open up Forescan. I'll hit connect here. See it's connected. And this has already been connected before, so it kind of sees my previous profile. And I want to go with that profile. Got a couple of errors. One's, one's for a. Uh, that one's an SD card not inserted, but I got it in there. <laughs> so these so far are all the modules that are on the HS CAN line. <laughs> Heads up display, um, that is the, um, when you get the flashing lights, if you're getting ready to rear end somebody, that's on the limited 302A package that also has the uh, adaptive cruise control. Um, Front controls, uh, interface module, front lighting control module, which is your lighting switch, DSP, uh, occupant classification system, which is pretty much like the the weight sensor, and your seats. Uh, cruise control module. I have a separate cruise control module because I have the adaptive cruise, uh, analog brake, ABS system, uh, inter restraint control module, parking aid module. I have the uh, parallel park feature uh, everybody's got this with the power steering control module <coughs> audio control module body control module and that's going to be the one we're going to be looking at uh, steering column control module that's the one that's got your turn signal switches and everything on it IPC instrument panel and image processing module A <coughs> so it'll ask you this vehicle contains MS CAN modules does your ELM have HS MS CAN switch I do, so I'm going to click yes, and it says please switch the switch over now, so I'll go ahead and turn that on, and I'll click OK, and you'll start seeing some other modules pop up, <laughs> those are the blind spot modules, the sign obstacle detection modules, HVAC, RFA, lift gate, and driver seat module, I think. I think that may be the last one. Okay, so once this is done, to add DRL, you want to go to this new, this is from version 2.3.0 of Forescan, which now adds um, configuration and programming. Uh, you do have to have an extended license. It's currently right now, it's free. You just have to follow the instructions on Forescan's website. It gives you a valid license for uh, two months and after it expires, you can just redo the process again and get a new license. <laughs> so right now, before I change anything, I want to show you, I got the car, I got the ignition on. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see the white tick mark right there, but I got the headlights off. They're off. You see there's park, headlights on, and auto. Okay, so I'm going to quit turn it off. I got the ignition on. I put on the brake, and I'm going to put it, you can see it here. Oh, you can see right there. Neutral. Neutral. Nothing. Dark. 
turn park lights on here, headlights, automatic, back to dark, nothing. All right, I got my foot on the brake still, you can see the brake light there. All right, put it back in gear. We'll go here. I clicked on the uh, micro trip, uh, yeah, microchip. And the one you want to look for is right here. Body control module. Let me get that to zoom in better. There you go. Don't click the as built format. You're going to get a bunch of hexadecimal stuff that a lot of you guys probably don't know. Uh, even me, I, there's a lot of things in there that you can change. You can really. You can screw up the configuration of your car if you get in there and you do it wrong. These are the ones that the Forescan team has already figured out what the hexadecimal does, so it's a more user friendly. Uh, the ones that don't have the as built, so let's click on that and click the play button. And you'll let's see, please set MS H or uh, HS MS can switch to the high speed can because the bike control module is on that. So I'll go ahead and switch that over on my OBD2 adapter. And you'll start seeing it reading blocks. All right, and you'll get this screen. Now, there's other features on here that you can enable. Um, the courtesy lamp dimming type, theater dimming means it's just a slow fade. You know, when you get in the car and uh, the interior lights just slowly fade out. If you want that to go like instantaneous turn off, you can set that, change that. Dark car, it's like when you open the unlock the car. And your puddle lights come on, your park lights come on. The police cars, they have that enabled. If you if that's something you like, you can go ahead and enable that too. Um, this one's one I want to be working on, the global close, global open. That's where you hold down the unlock button and your windows will go down. The Ford Taurus has it. I think the MKT has it already. Uh, Ford Focus has it. And... It looks like the Explorer is pretty much set up for it. The only thing is you don't have a wire coming from the body control module to the smart motors. So I'll be working on that here pretty soon, and hopefully I'll show a video on how to enable that. Um, 2017 Explorer order guide shows that that feature is available, and I don't think they really changed too much on the hardware, so I think all they did was add a wire and enable this feature. So... Be on the lookout for that. Maybe I'll add that. And the one we're looking for. Oh, right, right there. Daytime running lights. I currently have none. So we'll go to edit selected down here. Click. Daytime running lights. Here's the values you can select. You can select either none or front turn lamps. Now my car, I don't know if the Forescan team did this as kind of like a a safety thing to prevent people from uh, screwing up possibly their headlights but in IDS there's two selections um, instead of just front turn lamps if you have halogen lights the non HID type headlights it will recommend that you set the low beams to be your daytime running lights and what it will do it will pulse your halogen lights all right so you see right here, you got two options to select from. You got none, which means it's off. You got front turn lamps. So we're gonna click that. I hit the check box, and you see right here now it says front turn lamps. All right. Now to set this in stone, you gotta click the right button. You'll get a warning. It says, please confirm these changes. Your old value was no nothing. Your new values front turn lamps and I'm gonna click OK and when you do it's gonna go crazy. Alright, watch this. Hit OK. You get a bunch of flashing and everything, and then you get a new message saying blocks program successfully. Please cycle the ignition off and back on. What I like to do, I got the push button here, so I'll turn it off. Actually, well I just turned it on. Sorry, I got my phone break. Turn it off. And I'll open the door. So it actually kills it. Alright, now let's test it out. So currently I got the park lights on just from where you open the door. We'll do a double tap. I've got my brake on here. And if you notice, I turn the little park lights right here. So you got you see the park lights are on, I'm gonna turn them off. 
All right. Put my foot on the brake, and we'll put it into any gear. I got reverse. I'll put it in neutral front now. I should go out in here and show you. So you see these lights are on. Now these are the actual turn signals. So that's why they're actually. And there's a the double wall. We gotta figure that one out. And they're actually brighter than your park lights. And the reason I can show you that these are the DRLs is because your tail lights are on at the same time. So that's how you enable DRLs. It's kind of a crappy video I'm doing here with my iPhone. That's pretty much how you do it, and you're pretty much good to go. And if you ever need to change it, just go back in there and change it to none. And um, go to the Explorer forums. We're going to talk about some other things we can change. And uh, there's good discussions on there. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.